standing together with me in prayer and in faith, one thing is sure. The Bible says that a double-minded person cannot receive anything from the Lord so well. Uh, let your mind be one, praise the Lord, <laughs> and receive something big, something really big, so we can celebrate together. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Let's settle with God's word. Father, I want to thank and honor you again for this wonderful privilege. And we pray, O oh God, let your glory be seen, let your will be done, let your children be blessed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you people and uh, this program is live on Facebook uh, Joy FM Facebook page so you can just share very quickly when you when you see just share share with the brother share with the sister share with an enemy share with a friend <laughs> hallelujah title of my message this morning is what are you saying what are you saying praise the Lord we we'll take our scripture from the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter uh, 14. Uh, Numbers chapter 14. Uh, what are you saying? From the I will read from the verse 26 through to the 28. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation which murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel, which they murmur against me. Say unto them, Say unto them, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, As ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. This is God speaking. Praise the Lord. I believe that um, there are no ambig ambiguities or confusions about the fact that we communicate our intents and desires by saying them. True? <laughs> I mean, we, we, when we say a thing, that is what we have thought about. When we say a thing, that is what we have in our hearts. So we communicate our intents or desires by saying them. Whether in speeches, whether in writing, sign language, art works, you know, what have you. We're still saying them. Mm -hmm. So, and well, some of us tend to believe that once uh, nothing is coming out of from your mouth, uh, it means you're not saying anything. Well, I respectfully would differ on that. Um, and I'll give you an example. When, for example, when um, someone is accused of any crime and brought before a, a judge of a law court, uh, he or she may choose not to speak. But the judge would never, on the base of his refusal to say anything, determine that he's innocent. Okay? <laughs> so, at best, the judge would interpret that saying to mean that he or she is not ready to answer the accusation. So, he'll be kept in police custody or prison custody or whatever. Anyway, so that, 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 let's leave that for now. W what is important is that whether you are saying anything or not, your posturing and everything is still saying something. But we, we let's let's limit ourselves to what proceeds out of our mouth this morning. That's what we want to limit ourselves to. Matthew chapter 12 and the verse 35 to 37. I'm gonna read. He says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth things that uh, brings forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you, this is Jesus Christ, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned this is a very serious matter <laughs> question is what are you saying praise the lord <laughs> what are you saying may i submit this morning and humbly that you are under no obligation whatsoever to call things as they are or as they look I don't know the world the world had begun to actually uh, you know 
prop us up and then pat us our backs or pat our backs and say, well, as for this man, he, you, I like him because he says it as he says. I, 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 I like him. Well, that's the world. Unfortunately, we of the stock of God don't say things as they look all the time. Praise the Lord. We don't see things as they look all the time. It is important because he says that every idle word that proceeds from your mouth, you shall give account to that. No wonder God himself in creating the world, the Bible says that he says, let there be. Now, in what situation did God say, let there be? <laughs> you know, it's, it's amazing. In, God situ in what situation God say, let that be? The Bible said the earth was without form, void, and darkness had covered the face of the deep. And, you know, gross that It was chaos. It was, it was basa. <laughs> and, uh, and if I were you, uh, if, if probably I was there or you were there, uh, all of us are going to go like, wow. I mean, this is this is so terrible right now. This this is this this is so bad right now. Everything is everything is haywire right now. Are you following what I'm saying? I mean, we're going to begin to describe the situation. We're going to be able to, to begin to narrate how difficult it is. And, and and my brothers and sisters who are very quick to tell us about their condition in terms of you know the doctors say I have this, the doctors say I have that, the doctors say I have this. From today, I want to charge you i said you are under no obligation to say things or to call things as they are anymore because as 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 the thing proceeds from your mouth uh, you are communicating something you are communicating something to to the world you are communicating something to the heavens you are communicating the words are spirit my god and therefore you want to make sure that you are saying what you want to see come on you <laughs> you are saying what you want to see. What are you saying? Hallelujah. What are you saying? Now, so God says that let there be light. Around the time there was darkness. <laughs> and he could have chosen to say, so who brought this darkness here? Or oh, why do we have darkness here? It is too dark in here. I don't like darkness at all. He could have gone on and on and on and on and on. But he says, he cut the chase and say, let there be light. What are you saying today? That many of us may be in one diff difficult situation or the other. And we are very quick to actually, you know, lament about it and talk about it about it what do you want to see begin to say it what are you saying now very very interesting bring it back to the scripture now let's concentrate on the scripture now, the bible says that moses together with aaron was leading or were leading the people of israel and they were heading to their the supposed promised land and when they left egypt you know, I, I, was, I mentioned Egypt whilst I was praying because it came to me very, very uh, vividly that around the time, some of the people, you know, were, were beginning to be very used to the oppression. <laughs> some of the people were beginning to be very used to the, to the difficulty they were going through. Don't forget that they were slaves. They had become slaves in Egypt. They didn't go there as slaves, but they have become slaves. Some of us, the Lord blessed us with some things. And later on, we have become slaves to those things. And um, when we become slaves to a thing, we become used to it. We become accustomed to it. And we, be, we can't do anything without. Even phones, some of us have become slaves to our phone. It's all right, let's not go there. There right now <laughs> but i just want to say very quickly that these guys have gotten used you know to the situation in um, in egypt so much so that when moses together with them were in the wilderness they began to think about you know the garlic and the onions and maybe spring onions and small small salads that will be thrown at them as though they were dogs and all that and then they will eat and they say it would have been better if we we're back there in egypt and they have forgotten about the fact that when where they were they had no freedom they could die anytime when an egyptian feels like he killing you he just takes your life just like that and you have no life for yourself and god decided that enough of this oppression of my people i want to try 
transport them from this from this difficulty into another but it will take a process it will take a while they must go through the wilderness they must go through a setting a certain red sea they must go through some jordan they must pass through all manner of places just so they can get to where i want them to get and in the course of going through what you are going through then you begin to say things forgetting that there had been a major salvation forgetting that you are here you know where where others were not able to get forgetting that the things through which you have come i'm telling you some people did not get too close or close to that place and they left it they died people have Oh my God, I, don't, don't let me come out. You were born with some people on the same day. Some of those people are not here, but you are still here. You haven't been so good. You haven't been so right. You have been so righteous in everything. But guess what? God has sustained you mercifully. And all of a sudden, we have forgotten about everything he had done. And it's all about murmurings and complaining and murmurings and complaining. And even beginning to compare our past to our present. There are Christians today who say, even when I was in the world, I was doing far better. May the Lord have mercy upon you if you ever say a thing like that. Because it is called murmuring. <laughs> it, is called, it is called what? Murmuring. Now, watch it. The Bible says that the people of Israel were murmuring. They began to, you know, if you like, complain and complained and complained and, and and they were complaining they thought that they were complaining against Moses but God took this for himself I don't know some of us have complained against the president and you don't know that well it is it is God we're doing it to some of us have complained against you know our CEO and we don't know that it is God we're giving it to because you see what do you have that was not given to you everything you have wherever you are today the Lord permitted I'm telling you the Lord permitted go and ask somebody uh, <laughs> go and ask somebody he has so much money and uh, all he wants is just to be to be well again and, and and his money is unable to save him once upon a time we sat in this country and the whole president he was the sitting president he had the state of he had the power of state he had everything he had power over everybody and everything and yet he passed on like we, we all of us who, who were supporting him around the time could not save him our love could not save him you know our money could not save him nothing could save him that's what i'm talking to you about the one who gives you life gives you everything and once you are you are you are mindful of that then you are careful what to say you are careful what you even conceive in your heart because he says that out of the abundance of the heart the mouth to speak you see why god came down very heavily on the people around the time because he knew that in their hearts were filled with this murmuring and that's how come when they opened their mouth it came so easily <laughs> when they opened their mouth it came so easily watch it my brother and my sister anytime you open your mouth and it is complaining and it is fight and it is this you should know that you have so much of it in your heart David once, once upon the time said I am for peace but when I speak they are for war and I ask myself <laughs> in me um, I ask myself do you, do, you, do you believe that there is peace in your heart no wonder God told him that there is too much blood on your hands i can't allow you to build a temple for me because the guy is a man of war are you following what i'm saying the guy is a man of war so no wonder anytime he opens his mouth people are agitated and want to fight and so on and so forth but hear me hear me god wants you to say what you want to see <laughs> and you can write it somewhere god wants you to say what you want to see as he gave us that example the bible says that he said let there be light around the time there was no light anywhere <laughs> and he he further commanded well let 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 the light let, let the light give us day and that and and then let the night or and let, let the moon or the sun gave us day and the moon also gave us night he actually separated them that the firmament and so on god actually created this whole beautiful thing with the words of his mouth and you can also build something beautiful with the words of your mouth you can build something beautiful with your with the words of your mouth that family that marriage can be built beautifully with the words of your mouth i'm telling you that son of yours can come out so beautifully with the words of your 
your mouth. That daughter who had gone haywire, and unfortunately, he's not, she's not respecting you, and everything you say, she's countering and she's retorting. I'm telling you, with the words of your mouth, she can turn out to be good. What are you saying? Praise the Lord. What are you saying? You are a child of God and you're supposed to be, you know, be what God is. God created you and I in his image and in his likeness. And in his, in his image and likeness, he says things as he wants to see them. So he's told the people, say unto these wicked people, he called them, he called them evil congregation. May the Lord, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord not consider you evil. May the Lord not characterize you as evil. Because you see, what he, he is very, very concerned about the things that are in our hearts. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, sometimes, eh, sometimes, watch it. Two people can dress in suit and tie very, very handsome looking and everything and uh until you hear something from their mouths you will judge all of them to be gentlemen mm. <laughs> you will judge all of them to be very very nice listen dressed handsome man and so on but when you greet good morning and one of them tells you <laughs> one one of them tells you why 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 didn't you greet why didn't you greet the animal before you greeted me <laughs> then you begin to look at him again why because of the thing that proceeded from his mouth then you'll be able to judge very quickly oh one of them is not actually well and one of them so just said just good morning so per what came out of their mouth you are able to characterize them you are able to identify who they are and hear me child of god this is how god identifies us the things that proceed from our mouth that is why when thanksgiving is always on your lips you are on the heart of god no wonder it says that david is a man after my own heart why because constantly in in spite of all his fault, in spite of all his, you know, uh, uh, weaknesses, he was always glorifying God. There was praise on his lips. He said, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Forget not his benefit. You, you know why he was doing that? Because, well, his heart was indeed after God, and God recognized that. Today, what are you saying? What are you saying? Because you see, what you say determines where your heart is. What you say, Jesus Christ said, he tells us that, well, it is not the things that we eat <laughs> that actually condemns us, but the things that proceed from our mouth, they are the ones. You know why? Because the things you eat, they only enter into your belly. <laughs> the things you eat, but the things you say are actually coming from your heart. And when it does come from your heart, the Bible says that you shall be judged by sin. And, 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 and so this morning, as a child of God, you don't want any any idle word to proceed from your mouth never never again if you used to be saying that i was going to say something for free uh that that that, that, that christians are the most christians are the most unguarded you know in some in some of the occasions uh, but from today onwards you are going to be very very guarded knowing having at the back of your mind that what god wants you to do every day every moment every time is to say what you want to see i don't care what the world says the world may call you foolish jesus christ came to see the young damsel that young lady was dead the bible says that people had gathered together and they were crying <laughs> they were crying why because a young girl 12 year old had died and 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 and, and they were just doing the final funeral rite so that they go and bury her when jesus christ came he said what are you doing why are you guys crying and wailing and so on and they say can't you see that young lady is dead and we are getting ready to go and bury her jesus christ says that she is not dead she is asleep and they began to laugh at him can you imagine they, be, they who were crying began to laugh at jesus christ who were expressing his faith who were saying what he wants to see come on you he was saying what he wants to see and people who were crying then began to laugh at him but guess what 
right there <laughs> he pushed them aside and got that girl to wake up i'm telling you no matter what is dead around you your words can bring things back to life if your marriage is suffering i say your words can bring it back to life in the name of jesus christ my time is up but i want to say this in conclusion anyone who says what he wants to see would indeed see it by god's grace in jesus name hallelujah <laughs> praise the lord oh my I love the sound of this. Come on. Hey. 